Welcome to 40 Days of Soul Food, where we shift the conversation from what are you eating to what's eating you. I really do hope, um, you know, in good faith that you've been enjoying this journey so far. Yesterday, by the grace of God, I believe that we broke the power of shame off of our lives. But today, I want to make sure that our eyes are in check. Psalm 119 verse 37 says this. It says, turn my eyes from looking at worthless things and give me life in your ways. There's another translation that says, make me live by your way. That hits altogether differently. You know, one of the best and worst things of technology and social media is that it has given us access to things immediately. Yeah, I said it. It's like the best and worst thing ever, right? You know, some of us have lost vision because our sight was off. Looking at what other people have and what others are doing more than taking inventory of your own personal life and what you need to be doing. It has a lot of us actually way off base. You know, you're looking left and you're looking right and you start falling uh, into this trap of comparison. You're steady searching for a template and God is trying to make you the blueprint. I'm going to say that again for somebody. Some of y'all are steady searching for a template and God is trying to make you a blueprint. God never called you to look at that. That's why we can cry and shout, God, give me vision. God, give me a revelation. I need a vision for my life. I need a spouse. I need a promotion. Help me see right. To which God responds with, well, I tried, but you won't shut your computer off. That sight gets more attention in one night than I have in the last five years. Are we going too far too fast? Yeah, take it however you will. Th this is not the type of fast to make your flesh happy. It's to make you holy. And if you're really committed to being your best self this year, over the next 40 days, you'll put in the work. Today, I want you to ask God, help me to see what I'm supposed to and give me the discipline to turn away from what I shouldn't. That's a tough and challenging prayer, but it's a prayer of someone who wants to get their soul right. See, day two, we talked about the power of awareness. And, you know, it's one thing to be aware of something, but it's a whole other thing to do something about it. I'm not going to ask you what is keeping you from seeing clearly, because chances are you already know that. Today, I want you to answer, what am I going to do about it? Yeah. What am I going to do about it? I need you to take that seriously. Take this notebook take this pen and ask yourself the question, what am I going to do about this? So I want you to take an inventory of the worthless things that are going on in your life and ask yourself the question, what will I put in place to discipline me to turn away from what I shouldn't be seeing?